In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use FaceTime handoff on your iPhone, iPad and Mac to seamlessly swap calls between your Apple devices. This feature is incredibly convenient whether you're moving around your home or transferring your call to a more suitable device for your current needs. Let's explore how to set it up and use it effectively. First, it's important to verify that your devices are eligible and up to date. This means ensuring that your iPhone, iPad and Mac are all running the latest versions of their operating systems. Keeping your devices updated not only allows access to new features like handoff, but also ensures your devices are secure and perform optimally. Next, make sure all your devices are signed in using the same Apple ID. This is crucial because handoff relies on continuity features that work across devices linked by the same account. If you're not already using the same Apple ID, you might face difficulties in ensuring the handoff works properly. Once your devices are ready and up to date, you'll need to enable handoff on each of them. You can do this by going into the settings on your device, on your iPhone or iPad, navigate to settings, tap on general and then airplay and continuity. For Mac users, head to system settings or system preferences. Here you'll find the option to enable handoff. Simply toggle the switch to turn it on and you're all set. With handoff enabled, you can now start a FaceTime call on any of your devices. This could be your iPhone, your iPad or even your Mac. Begin your call as you normally would by opening FaceTime and selecting your contact to initiate the call. Now let's say you want to switch to another device, for instance you started the call on your iPhone but now you're moving to where your iPad is, or perhaps you want the larger screen for easier viewing. While you are on the call, simply bring the other device close to the one you're using. Let's take the iPad for example and bring it near your iPhone. You should notice a FaceTime icon appearing in the corner of the screen on the second device. To complete the swap, simply tap on that icon or the corresponding pop-up notification that appears. This will instantly transfer the call over to the second device, allowing you to continue your conversation without any interruption. The transition is seamless, making it feel almost magical. And there you have it, with these simple steps, you can easily swap FaceTime calls between your Apple devices using FaceTime handoff. It's a fantastic way to leverage the Apple ecosystem, making your communication more flexible and adaptable to your daily routine. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps you take full advantage of the fantastic features Apple offers.